children, very welcome. You're all very welcome to today's lesson. My name is Teacher Deborah. I would like you to call your friends, invite all your friends to come, and let's start our lesson together. Sinza, are you there? How about you, Emmeline? Come on, call your friends. Call all your friends and let's gather together and let us start our lesson. Okay, you're going to turn to your neighbor and say hi, neighbor. Hi, neighbor. And then you sing the welcome song, the hello song. Are you ready? Hello, hello. Welcome children, it's nice for me to have you all listening in and watching. Thank you for watching. So we're going to pray as we start our lesson. Hands together, eyes closed. Eyes closed. Dear God, thank you for all the boys and girls. Guide us today as we learn. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So boys and girls, it is time for us to read our Bible. Do you have your Bible? Come on, find a Bible, ask somebody to give you a Bible. Yes, you can ask mommy to share her Bible with you. Please do not pull any papers out of mommy's Bible, okay? okay. All right, do you have your Bible? Yes, I have my Bible. Have you found your Bible? Everybody, yes, I have mine here already. So we're going to sing our Bible song and then we will listen to our Bible story. Are we ready? Already. Come on, wave your hands like this. Let me see you wave your hands if you're ready. Good. Take your little hand and put, put, put. Take your little hand. The Bible is the word of God and the Bible tells us that God loves you. Yes, God loves you and you and you and you and you. God loves all the children of the world. He loves us all. Do you know what? The Bible also tells us that God is with us everywhere we go. Do we remember what we learned last Sunday? Do we remember? Okay. We learned that God is with us wherever we go. It does not matter where we are. Whether we are hiding in the bathroom, whether we are hiding in the kitchen, wherever we go, wherever we walk, wherever we go, God goes everywhere with us. And do you know why God goes everywhere with us? It is because God loves us. God loves you and he loves me so much. He loves mommy and daddy so much that he goes everywhere with us. So God is everywhere. So, are you ready to learn a new thing? Yes. Are you yeah. ready to learn a new thing? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to teach you a song. A small song that we sing when we learn something new. Okay? Yes, we've not sung this song before. It says, Happy, happy, dance, dance. Happy, happy, dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do a happy dance. Happy, happy, dance, dance. Happy, happy, dance, dance. When we learn something new, we do a happy dance. Can you do a happy dance? Okay, let's sing again together. Happy, happy, dance, dance. 
happy happy dance dance when you learn something new you do a happy dance happy happy dance dance happy happy dance dance when you learn something new you do a happy dance yes so we're going to learn something new and you know that new thing is from the bible and it comes from the book of jeremiah chapter 23 verse 23 the bible tells us that god is everywhere and there is no place he is not so the bible says in jeremiah chapter 23 verse 23 that i am god who is everywhere and not in one place can you repeat after me i am god i am god again i am god i am god who is everywhere who is everywhere and not in one place and not in one place let's do it from the beginning jeremiah chapter 23 jeremiah chapter 23 verse 23 verse 23 I am God I am God who is everywhere who is everywhere and not in one place and not in one place Yes children God is everywhere and not in one place So today children we're going to talk about God at our meal time Do you know what meal time is Yes meal yes, time is when we sit down and eat food so we sit down at the table and mommy brings the food at the table and we all eat is that what happens okay nathan says no we first wash our hands good we wash our hands and after washing our hands we sit down at the table and then what do we do next we pray yes thank you thank you very much we pray and when we pray for our meal we pray with thanksgiving we thank god and after thanking god we eat yum 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 and when we are eating at the table we are expected to behave a certain way because we are people who have god in our midst we eat with like people with god Do you know what it means to eat with God? Mm. Yeah, God is walking everywhere. Everywhere he's seated in your table there. He's eating with you as you eat. So you don't fight at the table, okay? You don't throw things at your friends at the table. Do we know the things we use at the table? Knives, table knives. Yes, we use knives. We use spoons. We use plates. We forks. use napkins, we use forks. Okay. So we are going to set up our table here with some things that we use. Okay? So children, our meal time sometimes looks like this. We have a tray with food, with a cup, and we have a fork, we have a spoon, and all these are things we use at the table for food. So, we wash our hands with water. and soap there is some water here to wash our hands and after washing our hands we sit down and humble ourselves and we pray for our food yes we give thanks for our food come on i would like you to join me sing- in singing a song for thanking god for the food and everything else that we have can you stand up good everybody standing yes Yes, that's very good. And this, we've sung this song before in class, and I hope you remember it. Very simple, very nice song. Thank you God for the world so sweet. Thank you God for the food we eat. Thank you God for the birds that sing. Thank you Can you sing with me now? Okay, ready, steady, go. Thank you God for the world so sweet. Thank you God for the food we eat. Thank you God for the birds that sing. Thank you God for everything. And the 
It's a lovely song to sing as a prayer to God, giving thanks for the food we eat and for everything else that God has made. So, other than giving thanks to God, there are also some things we do when we are at table. Yes, we use kind words like when mommy gives you the food, what do you say? You say, thank you, mommy. And when you need something, you say, may I please have a cup of water? May I please have some salt? You use the kind words. And the kind words we are talking about here are words like, thank you. And words like, please. And words like, no, thank you. And words like, excuse me. Come on, I'll teach you a song. Are you ready? I'm going to teach you a song about kind words. Are we ready? Born ready. I will do one line and you will repeat after me. Are we ready to go, children? Born ready. Okay. In our home, we use kind words. In our home, we use kind words. In our family. Those two lines together. In our home, we use kind words. In our family, you use kind words. In our family, again. In our home, we use kind words. In our family, again. In our home, we use kind words. In our family, with a thank you here and a thank you there. Thank you, thank you everywhere. Thank you here and a thank you there. Thank you, thank you everywhere. In our home, we use kind words. In our family. Let's do it from the top. In our homes, we use kind words. In our family. Again, in our homes, we use kind words. In our family. With a thank you. And a thank you there, thank you, thank you everywhere. In our home, we use kind words. In our family, so it is good to use kind words at table, at meal time. But even when you are playing with other people, you use kind words. When you want your friend to give you something, you say, "Please, may I play with your ball?" And when someone does something nice to you or nice for you, you say, thank you. Because God is with you wherever you are and he is watching. God is watching. He is watching and he wants to see you doing good all the time. All right, children, we have come to the end of our lesson. But before we end, I would like us to remind ourselves of the important things we learned today. And those important things that we learned today are that the word of God tells us that God is everywhere and there is no place that he is not. Okay? God is everywhere. Wherever we are, he's with us. The other thing we learned today is that we use kind words at home, at meal time, and it's a good thing to use kind words, okay? The other thing we learned is that we have to give thanks to God for our food and for everything else that he has given us. All right, children, let's gather together. We are going to pray and wind up our lesson today. Can we come together? Yes, we All can. All right, sit down and be quiet. All right. Good. Let's sing our prayer song together and we will fight, wind up our lesson. God is listening. God is listening. When we pray, when we Push our hands together, close our eyes so quietly, then we will pray, then we will pray. Dear God.
God. We thank you because you are God and you are everywhere we are. Help us to learn to give thanks every day and help us to be kind children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. It's time for me to say goodbye. And let's wind up our lesson with a goodbye. Turn to your neighbor and wave goodbye to them. Your neighbor to the right. Your neighbor to the left. Say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, 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 till we meet again another day, till we meet again another day. Bye, children. Bye, teacher. It's a new month, children. Thank you for joining us once again. I'm Teacher Jerome. I bring you greetings from our lead pastor, Pastor Charles Obwana, and also from all our teachers. Before we proceed, let us pray. Hands together, eyes closed. Father, we thank you for this wonderful new month. We thank you for all that you have done in our lives. Come and be with us as we are in your presence. In Jesus' name I've prayed. Amen. Wow. Now it's time for us to head over to the Olive Choir for praise and worship. Then later on, we shall join Teacher Olivia for our lesson. Hello children, welcome to today's praise and worship station. My name is Teacher Davis and I will be leading you together with Teacher Carol and Teacher Angel. Now I hope you're ready to do some praise and worship, some dance, some clapping and jumping for the Lord. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Hands together and eyes closed. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so, so much for today. We thank you for this beautiful Sunday morning. And we pray that you will be with us as we worship you, as we praise you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Children, let's stand up on our feet and praise and dance for the Lord. Come on.
you're here to worship you're here to worship his name yes Lord
We thank you God because you love us. We thank you because you are a good God. And Father, as we go on to listen to our teachers as they teach us your word, we pray that you will be with us. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Dear friends, it's a joy to meet you again. I am teacher Olivia and I am so happy to have this opportunity to share the word of God with you. Amen. Do you have your Bible, a pen, and a notebook? I know some of us know how to read and write, so I expect you to write something. Praise the Lord. And so at this time, before we start, let us pray. Hands together, eyes closed. Lord, we are so happy this morning for your God over our lives, watching over us, keeping us, making us happy each and every day that come. We thank you, you are unlimited God. You are unstoppable, you, you are God who can do anything. We want to thank you even for the sharing of your word. We pray that you bless it, help us to understand it. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Praise the Lord. I'd like to ask you something and you may answer it from there. And I'll also be pinning out some things um, up here. I don't know what you like doing. Yes. What do you like doing at home, at school, at church, out there? Maybe there's a sport you like. I don't know what you like most. Um, I have some suggestions. Since I can't see you, I'll put some suggestions. I hope they'll work for us. Some like playing, some like playing football. Yes, I don't know what you like, but some like playing football, like boys. They like playing football after school or even during break times. At home, you ask mommy, can I go and daddy, can I go out there? I want to play the football. So some of us like playing football. Some like reading am i trying to put something that you like yes some like reading i like reading books i like reading story books i enjoy that story and some like singing yes and some like dancing i don't know whether these are some of the things that you like I like dancing. I like cooking. Yes. Some of us would like cooking. In the evening, you go to the kitchen and you're helping mommy to fix something. Some like baking, things like that. And some like leading. Some like leading at school. You're leading others. You're a head prefect. Yes. You like leading, you always are available, you volunteer into doing things, so you like doing something. So these are some of the suggestions of the things like we like doing. I hope if I would be here with you, you'd give me more and more other things that you like doing. I also like looking at the nature. I like waking up and just stand and look at the sky. I like seeing that morning sun as it rises. I really enjoy it. I like seeing the, the sun as it sets. I like, I like seeing the nature. I like trees. I spend most of my time when especially I go to the village, being in the trees, seeing songs. Yes, I like looking at the mountains. I like hiking. Yeah, I also like walking. I also like I like things. I also like some of the things here. Praise the Lord. Hope I have suggested some of the things that you like. But did you know also God likes to do things? Do you know what God likes? Just as we like cooking, we like playing football, we like dancing. Also, God likes doing some things. God likes forgiving us. Okay? 
God likes forgiving us when you go to him and say, Lord, I'm sorry, I did this and it was not good. Please forgive me. He forgives us. So God likes forgiving us. Okay? Also, God likes something else. He likes healing us. God likes healing us. Okay? You will be there. You are not well. You are sick. And you ask God, please God, may you heal me. Then God touches your body and then you'll be fine again. That's what God likes. He likes to heal us. God likes to love us. Okay? God likes to love us. God likes to love us. He loves us every day. Every day. God is there loving us, caring for us, doing nice things for us. So God loves to love us. God loves giving. Are you seeing some of the things that God likes doing? Just as you, you like reading, you like playing, you like sleeping. God loves giving to us. He gives us in the morning, in the evening. God keeps giving us. Okay? God loves protecting us. God loves to protect us. At night when you're sleeping, when you're walking, maybe you've gone to school, God is there to protect you and keep safe. God loves to protect us. God loves to see us. We are fine. We are happy. Having a big smile. Yes. God loves watching over us. Yes, God loves to watch over us. He really loves to watch over us. He watch over us in the morning, when you wake up, at night, when you're sleeping. God is there watching over you that no harm can come close to you. Okay? God likes providing for us. Okay? God likes providing for us. If you need something and you go to God and ask him, that's what he likes. He likes to provide for us. He likes to give to us. God also likes to inform us. God likes to inform us. He likes telling us what's going to happen. Yes, you may be there and you don't know. What tomorrow may, may, how tomorrow may be. But God likes informing us. You be there and he tells you, you know what? Tomorrow, this and this will happen. So God likes informing us. Are you seeing some of the things that God likes? Yes. Also, God has things that he likes. The same as us. There are things that we like. We like doing. Also, God likes doing these things. Providing, keeping us, loving us, forgiving us, healing us. Praise the Lord. But did you really know that these are some of the things that God likes? Like, did you ever know that also God likes doing this thing for us? Yes. This year, many of us, we are going to start on this journey of knowing what God likes. Okay? Of knowing what God likes. It's a time where we shall know God likes protecting me. Many of us are going to start that journey of knowing God likes informing me. God likes loving me. Like it's something that's going to be real in our life. And then we will be like Jesus. Praise the Lord. And in our previous month, the month of February, we saw three Hebrew men. They knew what God likes. They knew God likes protecting. They knew God likes watching over us. And even when they faced that tough moment where they were asked to bow down to the statue, they said, no, we shall not bow because we know God likes watching over us. He will watch over us. He will keep us. He will keep us safe. Praise the Lord.
Amen. And I left you with a few things, three, uh, three points to keep doing. Okay. And we said when we keep doing those things, we will get to know God more and more. Praise the Lord. Do you remember those things? Yes. The first one was accepting Jesus. When you accept Jesus into your life, into your heart, that is your first step of knowing God. And you start your journey like that and you keep praying and reading the word of God. And so those were the things that I left for us to, to keep doing. To read the word of God and to pray every day. Those are the things that we are we were challenged to keep doing praise the lord and today i have come one more time to put more emphasis on them praise the lord and so in this month of march we shall focus on prayer can you see it we shall focus on prayer we want to know god we want to reach at that place where we can say that I know God. I know God loves healing me. I know God likes protecting me. Like it's you as an individual. You've come to that place as a child. I know God likes keeping me. And so for this whole month of March, we are going to look more and more into these things that I had suggested that they will help us to know God. Praise the Lord. And so... Prayer is one of the things that we shall focus more this month and we shall see how prayer works together with the reading of the word of God. Praise the Lord. And so what is prayer? That's what we shall look at this day. Praise the Lord. We shall read from the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 9. We would like to know what is prayer and also we'll see how prayer works together with a reading of the word of God. Daniel chapter 9 verse 1 to 5. In the first year of Darius, son of Saxus, who was made ruler over Babylonian kingdom, in the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood from the scriptures according to the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah the prophet that the desolation of Jerusalem would last 70 years. So I turned to the Lord God and pleaded with him in prayer and petition, in fasting and in sackcloth and ashes. I prayed to the Lord God and confessed. Praise the Lord. O Lord the great and awesome God who keeps his covenant of love with all who love him and obey his commands who love him and obey his his command we are seeing someone praying and this is daniel daniel was a young man that god used in that time when the children of israel were taken into exile daniel is one one of the men or among the men who gave in themselves into into prayer into praying, praise the Lord. And in our, in our text today, we see that Daniel understood from the scriptures. He read the scriptures, what prophet Jeremiah had talked about the captivity of the children of Israel. And he realized they will be there for 70, for 70 years. Then after that, he went and began to pray to God so that God can make it come to pass. That after the seven years, the children of Israel will leave the land of exile, will leave Babylon and go back to their, and go back to their land. And so there's a key thing that we see. Okay? We see that Daniel, his prayer didn't just start because, you know, I'm bored. Let me just talk to God. No. He was challenged by the word of God that he read. He read it and he felt like, you know what? I need to ask God to make this promise come to pass. So Daniel, through the reading of the word of God, he knew when the children of Israel were supposed to leave 
Babylon. We are supposed to leave the land where they are being taken as captive. And so he began to pray to God that God will make it come true. Through the reading of the word of God, Daniel was able to know God's plan. And then he went and talked to God about it. Praise the Lord. And so prayer is talking to God. Yes? Prayer is talking to God. We talk to God using his word. Prayer is talking to God. We talk to God. And what are we telling him? We are telling him his word. We are telling him what he had said. Praise the Lord. Here we are seeing Daniel. He goes to God and says, O oh Lord, the great and awesome God, the God who keeps his covenant. He's talking to God and reminding him of the covenant that he had made. And the covenant that he has said that after 70 years, they will be released and they will be free. And so after reading that, he goes to God and asks him to bring it to pass. In verse 3, so he said, I turned to the Lord and pleaded with him in prayer and petitioned him in fasting and in sackcloth and ashes. Praise the Lord. And so prayer is talking to God and we are talking to God using his word. Amen. And so from today, that will be our definition of what is prayer. It is talking to God and we are talking to God using his word. Okay, we see Daniel, his prayer started from that point of understanding the word of God. So after he understood it, he went to God and told him, God, let this come true. You have said after seven years, may it come to pass that we may be set free. So as we read the word of God, as you read the Bible, as you read the word of God every day, okay, it helps you to know how to pray. Okay, so prayer and the reading of the word of God, they go together. You read the word of God and it helps you, it helps you to know what to pray for and what to tell, what to tell God. So may we be encouraged to read our Bibles. Okay, and then through that, we'll be able to know how to pray. Praise the Lord. And here we are seeing Daniel praying a prayer of requests. Daniel is requesting God and telling him to make it come to pass. His prayer is long, but he's pleading with God that he will have mercy, that God will have mercy over them. That time, when that time comes, they will be set, they will be set free. Praise the Lord. And so prayer is talking to God and we are talking to God using his word. That's where we say, read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day if you want to grow. So as you read the word of God, and as you pray, you come closer and closer to God. You get to know a number of things that no one else would have known. Daniel wouldn't have known that after seven years, they are going to be set free. But after reading the scriptures, he was able to know that it's at this time that we will be set free. So let's be good students of the word of God that we may know what is God saying about us. And we pray in the same line. Praise the Lord. We pray according to what God is saying to us. Praise the Lord. And so at this time, I would like to take you to memorization of the scripture. I want us to memorize the scripture and, and also we, we hear what it's telling us. Amen. And so at this time, we are going to memorize our scripture. It says, rejoice, in, rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. So God wants us to rejoice always. I don't know what may be happening in your life. 
So maybe sometimes you wake up, you're sad, but God wants you to rejoice always and pray continually. Do not stop praying. Just as we've been reminding ourselves, we need to pray every day. We should not stop praying. We should pray continually and give thanks. Pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances. Whatever happens, maybe today you didn't get what you wanted, but the scripture is encouraging us. Let us pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances. Okay? For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. So rejoice always and pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances. Praise the Lord. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Amen. As I'm ending, I'd like to echo this again. That prayer is talking to God. And you're talking to God using his word. And so, we shall keep reading our Bibles and pray every day. Because you're talking to God. What are you telling him? We need to tell him what is written in his word. Praise the Lord. That's all I had for you today. God bless you. Let's pray before we end. Hands together, eyes closed. Lord, we want to thank you for giving us this opportunity to listen and hear from you. We know your God is encouraging us to rejoice always and pray continually. Sometimes challenges come on our way, but remind us to rejoice always and pray continually and always be people who give thanks to you in every circumstances because this is your will this is what you will for us through christ jesus i ask that you keep us safe and help us to be happy always and pray continually in jesus name i pray and believe amen thank you so very much for listening to me god bless you bye thank you teacher olivia for that wonderful and awesome lesson. I'm sure we have learned a lot about prayer. Now, before even we proceed, let us go through our memory verse. Our memory verse comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, from verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray continuously, and give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. Have we got our memory verse? Let us go through it another time. First Thessalonians chapter 5 from verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. Now, let us involve some action so that we can make it more interesting. Are you ready? Yes. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Now, let's go through our memory verse with actions. Are you ready? I hope you are. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, from verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Let us do it one more time. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 from verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Wow! So now, please take time and memorize our memory verse. For those who have not yet subscribed to our YouTube channel, 
please hit the subscribe button so that you can get notified every time we upload a new service. That's all we had for you today. Hope you have a nice time. Bye. Yeah. With my crown and a dance floor. I'll dance like David on the dance floor. Uh. I don't really care, call me psycho. Uh. Really wanna dance, cut the bride off. Uh. This will be time, another one off.